Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm very excited about my first guest today. It is internationally known artist William Welch. Now, he has been an iconic art figure here in Key West for over 25 years. He's contributed to so many local auctions, fundraisers, and just other community efforts. He's also taught classes at the studios of Key West. Bill is a very well-traveled and outdoor painter, and one of the things that stood out to me right from the very beginning is that he is a master at capturing Key West houses in watercolor. Bill, thank you so much for being here with me today. My pleasure. Nice I, to be here. Thanks. I am such a fan of your work. Oh, so thank it's you. wonderful being able, being able to look at it all morning. Thank you. Thank How you. did you find Key West? Well, I found it in the, basically 78 was the first visit, and I came back in the mid 80s. And by the late 80s, I was booking a couple months uh, in the winter to come down, paint. And I joined the uh, Island Artists Group. Uh, for the outdoor art show during Old Island days, and I did that for quite a few years. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I uh, was a founding member of Gallery on Green mm -hmm. at 606 Green Street back in 1995, I believe it was. Okay. Was there for 10 years, and now I'm at Stone Soup Gallery on White Street and Frangipani Gallery at 1102 Duval. Okay, well, we are so fortunate to have you here in Key West. Thank I know you. you only spend winters here, though. You yes. spend your summers in Nantucket? Nantucket, I go back even mm -hmm. further than the 25 plus years here. I, mm -hmm. I, Nantucket I found in the uh, 60s actually, late 60s mm -hmm. in art school and I started out there in 1982 mm -hmm. uh, and I had a gallery there and I've had one there for that long, 30 years now. Mm -hmm. So I go there summers, yeah. Okay. Now I mentioned, Bill, that you are a very well-traveled painter. <laughs> in fact, you just returned from Cuba. Tell me about that trip. Yeah, well, we went to Cuba. Uh, it was organized by the Tree Institute. It was a very lovely trip, uh, ostensibly to study the gardens and some of the rare plant species that they had in collaboration with American universities and biology departments and, and botanical societies. And uh, we painted there. I had eight students. And we had a lovely time, four days in the south and three days uh, in Havana. And I can say that Cuba's changing, <laughs> little by little, mm -hmm. and it was very nice to be able to, to visit under the auspices of a cultural visa okay. for cultural exchange. One-on-one -on -one with the people was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, do you do trips like this often, taking students over somewhere with you? Yes, I, I have done. Mm -hmm. Not often, but mm -hmm. uh, once every two, three years, I'll get a group together. And uh, this first time I've had painters in Cuba okay. with me. Now, do you have one of the paintings from Cuba with I you this do. morning? I do. Yes, I do. This is uh, this will be part of a show of myself mm -hmm. and my students. Mm -hmm. It's coming up the 21st of the month, and that's going to be at uh, Branch Panty Gallery. The 21st, we'll have a reception, um, and it'll be the artists that were with me and their works, and we'll put them up on the wall and, and basically have a reunion. Okay, that yeah. will be a good show to attend, definitely. Yeah. This is a square, a popular mm -hmm. square. We sat and had beers and sandwiches and painted this day in the yeah. front of that lovely cathedral in Havana. Now, how long would you say something like this took you to complete? Well, about three beers. <laughs> Not too no, about bad. About three hours. <laughs> well, it's gorgeous. About three hours, thank I, you. I think yeah. that would take me three years. So. <laughs> well, the watercolors you mentioned, but... Mm -hmm. um, uh, I do I do as well, uh, quite a few here, I'll give you that to mm -hmm. put over there. Uh, have quite a few acrylics and oils and new pastels too. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm doing pastels more and more, uh, which I used to do years ago, but for purposes of shipping and, and handling, sometimes the pastels weren't the preferred medium, but I do love them. And uh, my show is coming up this week. Mm -hmm. uh, on Thursday at Stone Soup Gallery, the 31st from 6 to 8, I'll be there. And it's titled uh, Up All Night, mm -hmm. which I periodically am up all night. <laughs> um, and uh, But this was all about Key West paintings at night, and I haven't ever done that before, so I'm pretty excited. And I have one piece here to show you Please. of that. Uh, and this is, this is the... Um, just a scene with a, with a house, I thought it was very, uh, very beautiful to have that light falling on the yard and 
someone upstairs maybe typing away on their next novel, I don't know, <laughs> and uh, the lighting. So I, I just enjoy doing this, and, and uh, there'll be several paintings that feature that'll they'll be like this with the houses at night gorgeous. with different, different uh, sky effects going on. It's gorgeous. So, Was it difficult? Bill, though, at night, I mean, um, kind of, it was a challenge, well, right? A little. It bit. was a challenge to, you know, to do a little sketching at night and take some photographs. I didn't actually stand there. I didn't have the equipment or the lighting for, uh, for painting at night, but um, I did capture it, and and then I took it back to the studio and did some work on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did, however, um, do this piece, uh, which is also in the show of my travels. And you mentioned I travel a lot. And mm -hmm. I do to uh, France and mm -hmm. my favorite spot is in the south of France it's called Arles mm -hmm. and that's where Van Gogh was matter of fact this is called the Van Gogh cafe it's still there the yellow cafe people might recognize the motif um, but this is my interpretation my little place that I rent there was a block away and I did this at night Mm -hmm. uh, and finished it up when I got home. So this will be Gorgeous. in the show. Thank you. Great. So we can all check it out. Stone <laughs> yeah. Soup Gallery this, starting this Thursday. That's right. And the show for the artists in Cuba, the mm -hmm. 21st at Frangipani. And lastly, I would just want to say that my uh, dear friend and owner of Frangipani Gallery, Fran Decker, who went with me to Cuba with some other people, is having her opening at Frangipani Gallery. And that's on Friday, right after mine, okay. February 1st, mm -hmm. from 6 o'clock to 9 at uh, 1102 Duval. And Wonderful. it's called Sand, uh, Water, Sand, and Silver. And she has some beautiful paintings there. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being on this My morning. Pleasure. Hopefully everybody can make it out to your opening Thursday night. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. Please don't go away.